Hey, I wanted to go over how to type hyphens and dashes in Google Docs. Cause we're going to be using that this week. So I wasn't sure exactly how to do it because say I take this sentence, right? I'm just going to copy it into a Google Doc. You may want to open up, this is the actual lesson slideshow. You may want to open it up in a Google Slides presentation um, with Google Slides. But anyways, I'm going to paste it here, right? Um, let me try Control Shift V. Yeah, perfect. All right. So then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to retype it. The group took a well, and then there's a button up above the P on the keyboard next to the zero, a well-traveled route at first. That is a hyphen, right? But then this other one's a little bit longer. That's the dash. Normally I used to do this through the middle of the country, but in Google Docs, it doesn't change that and there's no key for this longer dash so i was like okay how do we do this so i looked it up how to make a dash in google docs and i learned something there's two types of dashes there's what's called an en dash and an em dash and so either one is fine at this point because it didn't differentiate between them um but generally i would go with the em dash is the one i'm most familiar with like putting two of them together, right? It joins these long words. So when we use a dash, we'll use, oops, it's the wrong one. Here's the Google Doc. When we use a dash, we'll, we'll kind of use these two dashes, but you want it to make a more of a longer thing. So how do I do that? Well, there's different ways to do it. So if you Google and look at here, it tells you like all the different ways to do. You might do like on Chrome, you'd go to insert. On Android or iOS, you can go long hyphen. You can like hold it long and it will show it up. It shows you how to do that. Max, Chrome. So if you have different devices, then what I show you here, you'll want to Google and open up this article here that comes up when you Google how to make a dash in Google Docs. That being said, this one here says how to make it do it automatically, right? So to do it automatically, you need to go into tools and preferences. So if I come in here, click tools and preferences and then substitutions. And you see all this stuff here. And I want to replace the double hyphen with, and what I want to replace that with is this dash. So it says here to hold alt on windows. That's what I'm using alt and enter zero one five one. So let's try that alt zero one five one and nothing happens. That's what, that's what it said in the comments that that didn't work for someone. So I come back to this one. And this says that you can insert it through Chrome, um, but there's also the character map that it talks about down here. It says, press Control Shift U and then type 2014 on Chrome OS. So let's try that. Control Shift U, two zero, oops, I hit it wrong. Control Shift U, try again. Press Control Shift U, 2014, no. All right, so I got to hold Control Shift in U, which is really hard, and that also did not work. So I come back to this one here. <clears throat> um, it says hold Alt, enter one has zero one five one. That's what it says up here. Hold Alt, enter zero one five one. Um, insert special characters em dash so seems to say that <clears throat> replace with alt 0151 so again i'm going to try this again alt 0151 it didn't work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my number lock and try it there alt 0151 and that worked so what i had to do is i had to use my number pad um the num lock keys not the numbers on top of my keyboard but now it's done that and then go back to this, which also changed my screencastify. So now when I retype this sentence a third time, the group took a well hyphen, traveled route at first, through the middle of the country. So you see that time I typed it in and I hit space afterwards and it automatically changed it. If I hit space after this one, it would fix that as well and change it to a dash. So that's kind of what you can do. All right, that's so how you can make a dash in Google Docs. Hopefully that helps you some in putting hyphens and dash into your narrative writing this week.